Americans are shelling out more to get ready for Halloween. According to the National Retail Federation, people will spend a record $10 billion this year on Halloween candy, decorations, and costumes for adults, kids, and pets. That's $2 billion more than last year. On average, consumers are expected to fork over a little more than $102 on Halloween-related items. And some of that spending is going towards Squid Game costumes, reflecting the worldwide popularity of the most watched series ever to launch on Netflix. But it's not going to happen at one district upstate in New York. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has more on the costume controversy. Squid Game, a Korean survival drama about people in debt hoping to win a bundle of cash competing in kids' games. Losers are eliminated, literally. The body count is high, the violence is graphic. Which is why three elementary schools near Syracuse, New York, are banning Squid Game costumes, which mostly consist of jumpsuits, tracksuits, and masks, for Halloween events, saying they do not meet our school costume guidelines due to the potential violent message aligned with the costume. I spoke with five parents here in the Bronx, and every one of them thought those upstate school leaders were overreacting. Just a costume. Just don't let your kids watch the show. So for a school to actually impose that, that's, that's, that's being very overbearing. The superintendent in White Plains tells me Squid Game costumes won't be banned there, calling it a slippery slope. For example, historically, pirates were violent outlaws. We understand that different types of costumes, um, you know, sort of have different types of experience and historical connections. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to single out one particular type of costume and say that's, that's not uh, allowed. He says the bigger issue is kids who've seen or heard about Squid Game mimicking the show. One of the things we've been hearing about um, in, in school districts all across the country is children coming to school and playing squid games on the playground. It's never appropriate to play at harming one another, and that, that, that really is the sort of guiding principle here. Squid Game is hot for Halloween. Just check Instagram. Odds are you'll have one of these characters at your door come trick or treat. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The costume controversy apparently involves just a handful of schools so far. In addition to the three near Syracuse, a school in Ireland and another in Spain have banned squid game costumes.